Hallelujah. Can we just wave our hands and bless Jesus? Hallelujah. Oh, we give you all the glory, Lord. We worship your holy name, God. We adore you, we adore you, we adore you. Be glorified. Be glorified. Lord, be glorified. Greater mother God, be glorified. Oh, be glorified. Be glorified. Oh, be glorified. Oh, be glorified. Come on, everybody, sing. You all be glorified. Yes, be glorified. Be glorified, Jesus. Oh, be glorified, be glorified. Oh, be glorified, yes. Come on, just sing a song. Oh, be glorified, be glorified. Be glorified. Anatobaladia. Oh, be glorified. Be glorified. Oh, be glorified. Oh, yeah. Oh, be glorified in the heavens. Be glorified in the heavens. Be glorified in the head. Be glorified in the head. Be glorified. Be glorified in the temple. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, be the glory. Oh, be be glorified in the Oh, be glorified, be glorified. Oh, be glorified, oh, be glorified in the temple. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, sing it again. Oh, be glorified. Be glorified in the head. Oh, be glorified. Be glorified in the head. Be glorified. Be glorified in the temple. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, be You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Holy, wonderful, and kind. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy, holy, wonderful and kind. You are holy, you're so holy. Holy, wonderful, and 
a kind. You are holy, Lord. You are holy, Lord. You are holy, holy one. Come on, help us and go. You are holy. You are You are holy, oh God. Lord, you are holy. Holy one. Oh, you are holy. You are holy. You are holy, oh God. You are holy. Holy, wonderful, and holy. Holy, wonderful, and kind. Holy, holy. How do you, Lord God Almighty? What is the land? What is the Lamb of God? You are holy. Holy. How do you Lord God? Almighty. Yes. Come on. Oh, what is the Lamb? What is the Lamb of God? You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Oh, holy Lord God. Oh, what is the love of God? What is the love? You are holy. You are. You are so holy, God. Holy. Oh, are you love, God? Oh, you love, God. Almighty. Oh, yes. Oh, what is the love of God? What is the love? Come on, sing. You are holy. The Lamb of God. Oh, what is the Lamb of God? You are holy. You are holy. Holy, oh God. Have you Lord God? Have you Lord God? Almighty, Almighty. What is the Lamb of God? God is the Lamb of God. Amen. Amen. What is the Lamb? Amen. Amen. Wonderful, marvelous. Are the works of my God great is thy name? Oh, wonderful, marvelous are the works of my God. Oh, God, great is thy name. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, 
You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. Hey, oh, you are Yahweh. Oh, how far? You are Yahweh. Come on, sing that song with her. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. Oh. Oh, you are Jesus. 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 How far, how far? You are Jesus. You are Jesus. If I had ten thousand tongues, Jehovah, it wouldn't be enough. Baba, I'll sing it again. Even if I have a million tongues, oh, our master, it wouldn't be enough. Oh. If I had ten thousand tongues, oh Jehovah, it wouldn't be enough forever. Oh, you could not come of your leg when you heal, you heal completely. Oh, Chukuma will be more. Is he can do it? What shall I render? Oh, what shall I render? Oh, to Jehovah. For he has done so much. What shall I render? What shall I render? Unto Jehovah. For we have done. Come on, just the voices. Lord, we are grateful, oh God. Come to with another glory, Lord. Now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word is Jesus Himself. The word will be coming to us right about now. It will be in your best interest to get your book, your pen, and your Bible beside you. For what you're about to hear is not, is timely. It's not, it's not something you hear on a regular. It's a timely word. It's a seasonal word. And this evening, with Jesus join our hearts, let us receive our very own the absolutely phenomenal our reverend doctor fe for larry we said hallelujah hallelujah oh glory must be to the lord for he No man on earth should give glory to himself. For the glory must be to the Lord. 
we give you adoration. Thank you, King of Glory, for another opportunity to come before you. We ask that your spirit that is here already will continue to speak through us, impact upon your people, heal the sick, set the captive free, encourage those who have lost hope, bring back hope to them. Let those who are dying receive life. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Turn with me to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30. 1 Samuel chapter 30 from verse 1. And it came to pass, when David and his men were come to Ziklag, on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag, and smitten Ziklag, and burned it with fire, and had taken the women captives that were therein, they slew not one, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burnt with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captive. Ahinoam and Jezreelites and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Brethren, encourage yourself in the Lord. The Lord is saying to you, encourage yourself in the Lord. David encouraged himself in the Lord. David lost everything, but the Amalekites had not and could not take his relationship with God. Knowing God should be personal to you. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Hallelujah. The people wept to show their human nature. That is the natural human reaction. When anything happens to anyone, they wept till they had no strength <clears throat> because everything they had as human beings had been taken. So it is not just today that people started kidnapping, that started right from the time of the Bible. David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him. That is also human reaction. David was a leader. Definitely those he led will react because to them that was the end but look at what happened to David David encouraged himself in the Lord his God this season many things have happened to people perhaps you've lost your job perhaps you've lost loved ones perhaps you don't even know what holds the future holds the Bible is saying to you, encourage yourself 
in the Lord, not in any other thing. Encourage yourself in the Lord. When you have a personal relationship with your God, it helps you during hard times. Because without having personal relationship with God, when there is hard time, my brothers, my sisters, you will be discouraged to a point that you, are, you will go completely off. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Most of the time, we know all the correct terminology, religious terminology, church words, how to speak. But it does not make anybody to have a personal relationship with God. David was able to encourage himself in the Lord because he had a personal relationship with God. So whatever else we lose, whatever you are passing through, as long as you have Jesus, you are rich, you will have solution. But when we do not have him, we are very, very poor. So solutions will only come when you have a personal relationship with your God. Hallelujah. David strengthened himself in the Lord. We all know that it is also possible that when we are going through situations, other people will encourage us. They will want to strengthen us. But how often do people strengthen others with the word of God? That's why you must know what to do when you are dis getting discouraged. The only way you will not go astray is standing on the word of God. Hallelujah. In the book of First Joshua, from chapter 1, the Bible has this to say to us. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. The book of the law, the Bible, is the law that God has given to us. The Bible says that if it does not depart from us, what will happen? We will have good sources. We will make, uh, it will make our ways prosperous. Child of God, there's no other thing you need other than the word of God. Hallelujah. When Jonathan encouraged David, Jonathan encouraged David by reminding him to, reminding him of God's promises. I have a question for every one of us that are children of God. Do we encourage people or we discourage them? Are you an encourager or someone who discourages others? Or someone who tells them to run away from the things of God because they are passing through a period. David was encouraged by Jonathan from the word of God. And Jonathan told him, do not fear, for the hand of Saul shall not find you. I hope you remember that Saul was Jonathan's father. <laughs> do not fear, for the hand of Saul shall not find you. You shall be king over Israel. And I shall be next unto thee. And that also Saul, my father, know it. 1 Samuel 23, verse 17. So it was the word of God. It was the word of God. It was the promise of God that Jonathan encouraged David with. with child of God. To strengthen yourself in God means you remind yourself of what the scripture says about God and his promises. And then, and then you apply those truths to your current situation. Therefore, the word of God becomes very important to a child of God. The word of God should be like your bread, should be like honey in your mouth that you eat and when the time comes 
the spirit of God will remind you the ones that is appropriate to your situation. It is obvious that the devil or the flesh will not allow anyone to think first of strengthening oneself in the Lord. However, you have to be very, very intentional about it. David made it, made it a persistent and continuous effort. The psalmist said in Psalm 45, 43, verse 5, Why are you cast down, O my soul? It's a question. Why are you cast down, O my soul? Child of God, what is the problem? Why are you cast down? Your God is the lifter up of your head. And why are thou disquieted within me? And the instruction is, hope in God. For I shall yet praise him. Whatsoever you are passing through today, you will yet praise him if you encourage yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. You will yet praise him. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Who is the health of your countenance and your God in who and your God who remains the everlasting God. Hallelujah. The question today is in who do you hope? How do you encourage yourself? Is it in alcohol or reveling or partying or smoking? It's very funny when people say, I'm drinking to forget about my sorrow. Alcohol can never remove sorrow from you. Partying can never remove sorrow from you. Reveling can never remove sorrow from you. Therefore, because you put your trust in him, because the word of God is has not departed from you you will be able to encourage yourself in the lord hallelujah after david has encouraged himself in the lord yes the human reaction was there people wept they wanted to stone him what next in first samuel 30 verse 7 first samuel 30 verse 7 david and went back to god he inquired of the Lord if he should pursue after those who had taken his wife and burnt everywhere. Shall I pursue them? And the Lord said, yes, he should. Child of God, always remember in any situation you are in, to call on your God, to find out from him. Is the one that has the best answer at that point. Many will come with diverse suggestions, but you know that the only one, the ultimate person, is the Lord God Almighty. So in 1 Samuel 30, verse 7 and 8, David sought for God's guidance. Hallelujah. He sought for God's guidance, and God told him, Pursue, and you overtake. And it, so it was. Many are times when we are discouraged. The devil wants us to believe that God has failed us. Whose voice do you listen to? Things are not going on fine. You will smile again. Because the Lord will make everything beautiful according to Isaiah. The Lord will make everything beautiful in his own time. You are just passing through. And your God is solidly behind you. Hallelujah. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, listen to what the word of God says. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. That's a good place to say amen. Because when the Lord says, he will be with you, it is guaranteed. 
when he says he will not leave you, it is guaranteed. When he says he will not forsake you, it is guaranteed. And when he says, do not fear or be dismayed, the Lord God Almighty has guaranteed it. It's not like man who will say, I am coming and he's already gone. Praise the living Jesus. And David encouraged himself in the Lord. The Lord God Almighty is saying to you today, encourage yourself in the Lord. Come back to your God. See him as the only one that can sustain you. Hand over that problem to him. Just as David, after human reaction, he realized who God was to him. And he inquired of the Lord, should I go? He did not just take step. Maybe you have been taking step and God is just watching. You have been taking wrong steps. It is time to come back and ask God the way to go. Which way should I go? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Almighty God. Almighty God. Our generation shall praise your name. Our generation shall praise your name. Our generation shall praise your name. Our generation. time to pray it is time to thank God for his grace and mercy over you, our lives you, over Jesus. your life as a person you, over Jesus. your family thank over your you, children Jesus. over the church you belong to over Nigeria prayers in Jesus name thank you Jesus let's always remember to thank the Almighty there is nothing we can do without him thank you for we can do nothing without him Jesus Thank Everything you, is Jesus. made possible Shed by him. Father, we thank you once again for your grace Shed upon our lives, for your grace upon our families, for your grace upon your church, for your grace upon Nigeria. Thank you, Father, we thank you. Lord, we magnify your holy name. You are the ancient of days. You are the lily of the valley. You are the bright and morning star. The Lord who raised the Lord who will continue to reign forever. Eternal rock of ages. We thank you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness over our lives, over our families, over the church, over Nigeria, over everyone. Lord, you over Jesus all over the world. Lord Jehovah God, thank you for your grace to overcome. Thank you, Lord Jehovah, for your grace that you give it to the weak. Thank you for strengthening the weak. Thank you, Lord Jehovah God, for bringing hope back to everyone that is weak and worn. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. Child of God, it is time to speak life into your life. Speak life. Proverbs 18 verse 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Yes. Speak life into yes. your yes. into your situation. Yes. Speak life into your yes. own system, into your body, into your health, into your business, into everything that is around you. Life, life, life. life. It is Jesus well Christ came that we may have life and have it in abundance. It's not a killer. 
is the giver of life. Speak life, speak life, speak life, speak life. Remove negativity from you. Remove negativity from your life. Speak life, speak life. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. The Lord is your strength. The Lord is your healer. The Lord is your provider. Speak life. This time to speak life. This is the time to speak life. 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 To that situation. Speak life. To our family. Your own child. I speak life. You will not go happy hand begging. The Lord of provision. God of provision. Jehovah Jireh. We provide for you. You will be strong. You will be strong. You will be strong. Strong spiritually, strong physically, strong no weakness of any kind. The Lord will open up no weakness of any kind. In the mighty name of Jesus, speak life, speak life, speak life. The power of life and death. No weakness of any kind. Speak life. The Lord has given you the unction. In my health, 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 in Pray for joy. Yes. Many a times some people don't know you need to pray for joy. Yes, yes. Joy is one of the fruit of the spirit. Hallelujah. But the devil attacks the joy of people per second, per second. Yes, ma'am. Because yes. he knows that when there is joy, there will be other things that will follow, other good things. We are going to pray. Oh Lord, my God, oh Lord, my God. release your joy upon me. Release your joy upon me. According to Proverbs 10, 28. According, According to Proverbs 10, 28. Because in Proverbs 28, you said, the hope of the righteous shall be gladness. Yes. Oh yes. Lord, my God. Oh Lord, Lord my God. Release your joy upon me. Release your joy upon me. Release your joy upon my family. Release your joy upon my family. Release your joy upon your church. Release your joy upon Nigeria. Release your joy upon Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prayers in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, our God. Release your joy upon us. Release your joy upon Nigeria. Release your joy upon your church. Release your joy upon your church. Upon my family, upon your children, in the mighty name of Jesus, your children lead joy, over your not release your joy, every spirit of sorrow will be destroyed, we release joy, 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 we overflow in their life in the name of Jesus. We release joy. We release joy. We release joy in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray that the Lord will destroy every spirit that walks sadness and sorrow. Amen. Going about in Nigeria, the Lord should destroy it from homes. From Nigeria, from the joy, from everywhere that these joy killers and these sorrow bearing people are, that the Lord will destroy all their instruments Amen. and destroy all that spirit. Prayers in Jesus' joy. name. Father, you are the giver of joy. You are the giver of joy. You created everything beautifully. Lord Jehovah, every spirit of sorrow, killing, maiming, sadness, going about, running about. Father, destroy them. Destroy them. Release our Oh Lord, my God, this is your inner strength. Release 
your inner, inner strength. strength. In me again. In, in me again. Wherever I am weak. Wherever I'm weak. Lord, strengthen me. Lord, strengthen me. Lord, strengthen your Lord, church. Strengthen your Release your inner strength Release to your children. children. Prayers in Jesus' oh, name. God, Father, we ask that you release your inner we strength. So Father, the church, inner strength that, that, that gives your inner assurance, strength. that gives hope, oh, that oh, makes your, your children to, to, come. to be determined to serve you to the end. Father, release upon your children, release upon Nigeria, release upon our families, release upon us in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray for as many that are passing through tough time that the Lord will give them the grace Amen. to remain steadfast Amen. so that their joy will come. Yes. Prayers yes. in yes. Jesus' name. Yes. Lord, we remember as many that are passing through tough times. Father, that you will release your grace upon them. Release your grace upon them. Sustain them. You are their sustainer. Release your grace upon them. Sustain them. Sustain them. Sustain them. Yeah. Sustain them, sustain them, Lord Jehovah. That Lord, when you are through with them, Lord Jehovah, they will not be found wanting in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not give up before their miracles. Father, sustain them, sustain them, Lord. As many all over the world, all over the country, in your church, in the body of Christ, as many as are passing through rough times, Lord, sustain them with your grace. Give them Jesus. your grace. Give them your the grace. Give them your grace. Give them your grace. Sustain them, Lord, with your grace, with your peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We worship you. Thank you, Father. We adore you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We adore you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray for the church. It is the power of God that makes the church. Yes. It yes. is the power of God that differentiates between the church and any other thing. Yes, yes. So that, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, release the fullness of your power release into your church. Your Let your, your, your church not lose the power of Let's God. Father, bless your, your church with your power. Power of, power, power of the Holy Spirit. Power of the Holy Spirit. Power of the Holy Spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Treat life to your people. Give life to your church. Empower your church, oh God. Endure your church with your power. With your gifts once again, Lord. Every stubborn gift, Lord. I will give them in the name of Jesus. That your church, Lord, can be vibrant. Strong once again. That the devil will not be able, Lord, to overcome. Put anything against your church. As you said, you will build your church. Oh God, upon your church again. Thank you, Father. Power is a fault. Be restored, Lord. We adore you. We glorify your holy name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The final one, we are going to pray for the leaders of our nation. The leaders of our nation. We are going to pray for the leaders of our nation. Leaders at any realm, at any level. Things are not going on fine. But the power of the Holy Spirit can make it fine. Yes, yes. The earth with, was without form. But when the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord hovered over it, everything was, became orderly. Yes. Everything took shape. Yes. yes. We are going to say, Oh Lord our God. Oh Lord our God. Oh Lord our God. Oh Lord our we God. call upon your we name. Upon Take, your over name. Take over our leaders. Leaders at any realm. 
leaders, whether of the religious, leaders, whether religious leaders, whether government, leaders, government officials, government Lord, officials Lord, take over. Lord, take over. Remove Lord, this confusion. Pour your spirit upon them. Turn them to yourself, O God. Destroy the chains of the evil one. In the name of Jesus, we want to enjoy our nation. We want to enjoy your name in this nation. Father, take over. Father, rule their hearts. Rule the hearts of the leaders at every level. In the mighty name of Jesus, we worship you, Father. We thank you because you do it. Thank you because you are Lord. Glorious God, we worship you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Ancient of this, you are our God. You are our king. You help David to encourage himself in you. Yes, Lord. Father, we are your children. Yes, Lord. We ask, oh Lord, that anywhere, in any form, that anyone is discouraged, Father, give such a one the grace to encourage himself in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. To encourage himself in the Lord. It is only in the Lord God Jehovah that is, there is everlasting strength. Yes, Lord. Father, once again, encourage everyone that is downcast. Everyone Amen. that the devil is speaking to. In the name Lord, of destroy Jesus. the voice of the evil one. In the name of Jesus. And win your children over Amen. again. Lord, empower your children. Amen. Sustain your church. Amen. Father, sustain our nation. Amen. Father, sustain our nation. Amen. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Hallelujah. Name. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Why should I feel discouraged? And why should the shadows come? And why should my heart be lonely and lonely? Forever and on. When Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is He. Always eyes His own the sparrow. And I know he watches me. His eyes is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. And I sing because I'm happy. Sparrow 
Hallelujah. What an amazing time again in God's presence. God is too good and intentional with us here. I told you that you, you would have an amazing time today. I show you never regretted viewing our space today. And as you've prayed, the Lord has answered. In the name of Jesus, for as many that are still experiencing one discouragement or the other, by virtue of the rendition you just hear, receive strength to be free because Christ has made you free. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, next week is another time to have an experience again with us. It is always an experience, yeah. It is not just a service. It's an experience, an encounter that you will never regret in a long while. So next week is another time. Don't forget to view our page, to like our pages on all platforms. Ensure you like, ensure you comment, ensure you host a watch party for as many that you can. It can only get better for you. Account number is displayed for your use. It is not advertisement. It is for your use, just so you know. And it's for your use. Kingdom financiers, I always make emphasis to this. God is raising intentional kingdom financiers. Don't be left out. The Lord loves you. Jesus loves you. Divine Christian Assembly loves you. It's can and will only get better for you all the time. The grace and fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Say, I love this family of God.